Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. Happy birthday. I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed, happy birthday. If you are someone that just happened to click on the video, I really hope that you'll subscribe, stick around, take a chance, see what kind of readings I do for you here. And I do go live, even though I haven't in a while, but I'll explain when I go live. Okay, listen, Gemini, it's your birthday season. So I'm using Crystal Visions and I have a brand new one. 30 bucks. That includes shipping. Anybody who wants it, comment below. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, this reading is going to be for the rest of this month and July. June and July. Um, simply because I'm going on vacation. And I'm going to be gone for two weeks in July. So excited. For Gemini, June, July, 2022. Gemini. Wow. Your cards are just going, like, perfect. Mm. Huh, for the love, the tower. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Can Scorp Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Man. Four of Wands. Strength. Seven of Pentacles. Huh. Five of Swords. Seven of Cups. Page of Cups. And the Hangman. With the Tower, someone is definitely in serious denial. There is something that someone like does not want you to see. I feel very strongly that some of you need to be very careful with making decisions. You know, the Seven of Pentacles, careful of making decisions. Seven of Pentacles, I just feel like this is, it's in the center of the reading, you're just waiting Really, just trying to make a decision. The Five of Swords right next to it and the Tower. I mean, Gemini, this could be huge fights, big fights. I mean, things getting absolutely, totally out of hand. And I feel like you're in the middle of a decision whether you're male or female, making a decision is very important here. 
And I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Swords, just be careful. Because there's a chance that this could backfire on you. Whether you're in a relationship or not. You know, the Four of Wands is, is security, stability, a strong foundation. A relationship, commitment with the Tower. Like something huge could have happened. Someone could be shaking things up. Ending a relationship or you could have met some, met this person and you feel like he's the one. Um... And, you know, a relationship, a commitment with the tower, something huge could have happened. Someone could be shaking things up and, you know, ending a relationship or you could have met this person and you feel like he's the one really is a surprise energy. You know, surprise, surprised you. Unexpected changes around the relationship. Someone is definitely making a decision here with the Seven of Pentacles. But definitely there's a, a strong feeling of you need to be careful. Strength. Sign of Leo. And this could also tell you to be strong, be brave, have courage. Keep yourself calm as you're making this decision. The hangman is definitely, you know, being stuck in limbo. Because, because you also have a very emotional energy here with the Seven of Cups. And this is, you know, things... Being confusing, stuck, completely at a loss, not knowing what to do. Page of Cups, loving communication. It's going to make you very happy. Could be someone asking you on a date, expressing your love, expressing your feelings to someone. You know, some of you, you might not know how you feel about someone. Again, it could be them, but definitely being stuck in limbo. Not knowing where the relationship is going to go. I feel for the majority of you, you're making a big decision. A really big decision. And we're going to clear that, fry this all. With the um, after tarot. Okay. Clarifying this reading for Gemini. Starting with the Tower of King of Pentacles. Tower of King of Pentacles. Okay, that. Fell right out. Strength. Seven of Pentacles. Five of Swords. What is this going to lead? Okay. Wow. 
Okay, the devil. <coughs> the four of swords. Please excuse me, I feel like I need, like, something to drink. Okay. Oh, and the Six of Cups. For some of you, this definitely could have... <coughs> could be a decision... To reconcile with someone from the past. <coughs> I am so sorry, Gemini. There's got to be a reason why I'm coughing like this for you guys. Like you're giving someone a second chance. <coughs> oh, those of you just... <coughs> thinking about the past. You're focusing a lot on the past. Past things have already happened. It is going to create a lot of confusion for you. Or that person that you're dealing with. A lot of emotional energy here. The devil could be a Capricorn. I see a lot of decisions around you. And I do feel like... You do have to be careful. Others of you, there is a relationship. But please be sure that, you know, you're not connecting yourself to very negative energy, a negative energy person. I really think you just need a break. Four of Swords, you need a break. And, and either, I mean, someone wants space. Some of you were, you know, definitely going back and forth, back to your past. An ex, you know, wanna, wants to reconcile. I do feel like you need time to make a decision about the Six of Cups and the devil and the ex. It wants to revisit the relationship. But there is this stuck energy. And for others of you, I just feel like dwelling on the past is going to bring out negativity. You know, you might have even already been seeing your ex, talking to them. You know, if you want, if you want to go back to someone from the past... Because I do feel like a lot of you want to revisit the past. I do feel like it's going to bring you a lot of emotional stuff into your life. Definitely an interesting reading. If it didn't resonate, Gemini, please watch your other signs. Um, if it did resonate, I would absolutely get a private reading. Um... I will remember this reading. It's not one you could forget for a love reading. Um, what's at the bottom of this deck? I have a feeling you're dealing with a water sign. A Scorpio. Scorpio energy. Wow. And the King of Cups is at the bottom. And, but, you know... It, He's dumping out a cup of something, water, emotions. He's dumping it out. He's dumping it out. Whether it's, it's romantic or it's not. If it's someone like a Scorpio that, you know, you're visiting from the past. Think about it. Don't just run into it. Okay, Gemini, what a reading. But a good reading for a lot of you. I really, I really do feel like it's a great reading for all of you. You're going to revisit the past. Someone from the past is coming into your life. And it is definitely a water sign. 
Okay, Gemini. I love you guys, and I'll see you back here soon. Bye.